He who is not ready for freedom is not ready to see the game. <laughs> Hi guys, so it is the next day now from obviously the vlog that I did yesterday with the barbecue and all the rest of it and the weird child silliness thing. That was quite funny actually. And yes, that was a comedy bit. I wasn't like with being really serious there. That was meant to be comedic. I don't know how it was meant to be comedic. I just thought it was a bit funny. Anyway, I don't probably no one laughed at that. I don't even know. Anyway, so today... We are going to Macclesfield and we're probably stopping off at Nutsford as well. Um, so plenty of charity shops, probably about, I don't know, 15, 16, something like that. Not a huge amount, it's not like 30 or 40, but we've got a few charity shops. We might also hit up a couple of supermarkets and stuff as well, so there's that in there. Um, and yeah, I'll just take you around as normal, possibly do the whole video tagged on to the end of this one. It started like a raindrop raindrop but it's already covering me my heart keeps swaying non-stop non-stop i guess i gotta swim in the sea i am not afraid of mistakes rather figure out So we have just got to Mac, we actually stopped off and did a couple of charity shops which were just before the car park essentially um, and I forgot didn't I? Yeah. That um, basically a few t uh, the last time we came to Mac a few of the charity shops had closed down. So we haven't got maybe 15 or 16 to do between Mac and Nutsford, we've probably got what 10 to do, 10 yeah. or 11. Yeah. So yeah, bit of a shame, so it's probably only going to be about 6. In Mac, no, seven maybe. Yeah, maybe. Something like that. But Hopefully, some a of them might have, some others might have opened up. Yeah, and a couple of them are quite good ones, so so we'll see. Still but, worth a visit. Yeah, we'll see what happens anyway, and I will take you around as normal. Now it's to go down the kind of really dirty stairs that we always go down. Ugh, filth. So guys, welcome to another video and here we are at the League of Friends charity shop. My mum's just popping in there now, but I didn't get any footage in there because I was too busy picking. So here we are in the Windy Way Trust, aptly named because the staff eat too many baked beans. No, I am only joking. It is a funny name though, isn't it? I'm sure you'll agree. Um, but you can see here, I'm looking at the toys and games, coming around to the little baby clothes here, even though I don't do baby clothes. I thought that little horse would be quite cool to have in my room so I thought I'd uh, have a look at that but I decided not to pick it up because probably wouldn't go with the rest of my decor um, but you can see here we are on to the Windy Way Trust upmarket branch of the shop now it's actually a separate shop actually um, but yeah you can see here we're looking at the ceramics we're getting a feel for it seeing if there's anything there quite expensive this shop uh, we can see I've got, I've got an ink here, but unfortunately they wouldn't sell the ink separate to the printer. I didn't really want the printer, so I ended up leaving it. Would have been nice to grab that little ink cartridge there, probably a solid tenner um, or around that anyway. And uh, if I got it for a quid or something, I'd be happy with that. Looking at some petrol canisters or something there, plastic cans or something, I don't know. Um, and yeah, just having a, a good old browse. I do like this shop actually, although it is quite expensive. Uh, having a look at the DVDs here, I've not been doing as well at charity shops with DVDs these days. See the odd sealed one that I pick up, but, but not as much as uh, I, I once was doing with them. Having a look at the old CDs, I never really do anything with CDs. I always have a like, very quick look, even though I don't know what I'm doing. But uh, yeah, so we're coming up to the end of these clips now. Looking at a few board games here, uh, nothing that I could see. We're finally just having a quick look, quick browse outside of the League of Friends shop. I did do a quick bit of footage outside. Just like to see what's outside the windows of some of these shops. But yeah, I'll leave you to get on with the video. You say I make you nervous, a tragedy, I'm a beautiful disaster. A reckoning, you wonder how I got this way. I think I'm someone to be saved Someone to clean up and tame Oh, some things never change Now 
I'm going to hit up a few of the charity shops here. There's about four or five, I think. Um, we'll see what I get. Stop asking for forgiveness Cause you should know Only fools dread with the angels Fear to go But you keep trying again to So I am back now And I got a few bits You know there's a few bits here um, I got six items from I think it was about 13 charity shops in the, in the end There was a couple actually That we saw in Mac That I didn't realise were there There was one that was open this time That was closed the last time we went So it was, there was a few more in Mac than, than I said at the start of the vlog Obviously I said that A few of them had closed down All the rest of it um, But yeah probably about 13 charity shops I got six items as I just said uh, I went to a Sainsbury's And I went to Laura Rashley as well I didn't do any filming in either of them I don't know why I just didn't um, But I didn't see anything in either of them either so there wasn't really anything to film uh, there was a few reductions on the lego at the sainsbury's but it just wasn't the reductions i was looking for and the same old story at Laura Rashley. there was some reductions on the wallpaper but some of the wallpapers were down to eight quid a roll but i don't want to pick them up for eight quid a roll i like to look for them when they're at the real heavy discount of three pound per roll so yeah i got a few bits but Again, six items from 13 charity shops. Considering that just a year ago or a couple of years ago, when I was going to Mac, I could get so much there. Literally, I, I swear one time I filled almost all the back seat up from the charity shops, or not far off. So, it, you know, at least I'd quite a numer numerous amount of bags, whereas this time, as I say, just the six items. I mean, I remember I, I used to go with my grandparents actually down there every now and then. And uh, I used to get quite a few bags with my grandparents because my grandma would have a couple of bags, I'd have a couple of bags, and my granddad might even have a bag as well. So it's yeah, it's just it's just a shame that I can't seem to be getting as much as I used to from the charity shops. But that's the way it goes. So anyway, without further rambling, because I know I've rambled enough there, I've probably double backed on myself at some point as well or repeated myself. But I will get on and I will show you these items. So first off, from one of the first charity shops I actually went to is this Shrek the Third, uh, obviously new with its tag, uh, little Shrek plush. Now I only picked this up, it was £1.50. I only picked it up because I've, I've heard Steve talk about Shrek plushes and them doing okay. I didn't know whether this one was just a too small one and it's probably not worth much. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd pick it up. £1.50, I looked on Complete and Sold and I looked on Listed. I couldn't find this one particularly, the Shrek the third one, but I saw other tagged Shreks and I think they were around £12.99, something like that, maybe a little bit more. Um, so I'll probably put this on for £10 plus my postage, something like that, and uh, see if it sells. Obviously £1.50, not too bad. Um, but yeah, as I said, I just saw Steve had been picking these up and I thought, eh, May as well pick it up for £1.50. So, yeah, that's that one there. I got some Levi's for a decent price for once. I always see Levi's in charity shops. But the charity shops around me always sticker them up at like 15 quid or something ridiculous. So, yeah, these are Levi's. I didn't check the inside of the button, actually, to tell if they're real. So, you might get a, uh, an idea on camera now that they're actually fake. It says... 244 in there, let me check the tag. Oh yeah, good, it says P44 on the tag, with a P44 there. So, you won't be able to see that, but on the tag there's a little number. Uh, well, it's actually a, a, like an alphanumerical thing, so it's P44 on the back of the tag. And then, can you see that there? P44, that's, apparently, that's how you tell if they're genuine or not. I got told that by uh, a more experienced reseller than myself. So, yeah, apparently that's how you tell. Um, so, yeah, these are Levi's. 
I paid two quid for these in the charity shop. That's awesome price. I never see Levi's for two quid in a charity shop. Crazy. It was one of the independent shops, though. And, you know, it seems to be the independents that um, are kind of still pricing things fairly decently, you know, fairly on a good level. You know, we're not charging a bomb or anything. So, yeah, I don't know what Levi's go for these days because I've not had them in ages. But I'm sure 25, 30 quid, something like that. And they're really good condition, actually. What are these called here? These are the hems. I'm not a clothing seller, so I don't know. But I think these are the hems. Um... But yeah, they're, they're really nice condition, so it just seems like a really, really good condition pair. 581, and then the width, uh, the width, the waist is that, 32, and the leg is, thir oh, 32 as well, so that's pretty good. Actually, would they fit me? they probably fit me, actually. Um, but yeah, maybe I'm not a 32, maybe I'm a 30, I can't remember. Anyway, but yeah, that's those, so tw uh, 2 quid, possibly 25, 30 quid, so I'm pretty happy with those. Uh, next, we've got this... Uh, this was from Nutsford actually. Stick it up at three quid. Now Schwin Oh god, I'm never gonna pronounce this right. How is anyone meant to pronounce that right right unless they're German or they speak German but they're of a different nationality? Nun oh, god, I can't even say Norwinstein. Norvenstein. Norvenstein. Do you pronounce pronounce the W as V? Norvenstein. Something like that anyway. Norvenstein Castle. 3D puzzle, three pound. I looked on complete and sold, and I couldn't see this really. Uh, not this one anyway. And unfortunately, a few of them, I don't know what the prices they were getting. Some were getting maybe like four or five quid used or something, but it wasn't this exact one. And I thought from three quid, it's brand new and sealed. I'll probably be able to get a tenner plus post. I might even be able to get a bit more than that, to be honest. Um, so I thought I'd just whack it, whack it. Um, just pick it up. I don't know why I said whack it. Just whack it in the basket, I suppose I was trying to say that. I don't know. But, um, no. Pick it up and uh, from three quid and get a bit of money back for it. So, yeah. That's that one there, anyway. Mm. Next, we've got this Simon Fairfax uh, hat there. Quite a nice one. Got a little feather in it. Although the feathers seem better days, to be honest. It was three pound. I thought, yeah, um, I'll pick it up for that. And uh, I might be getting about 15 quid for that. Something along those lines. I might need to come down a little bit. 12.99 plus my post. But around that, 12.99, 14.99. So, yeah, that's that one there. Next, we've got this Orpheus music box. Uh, some sort of robotics thing. Obviously, brand new and sealed again. Wherever I can, I just pick up brand new and sealed stuff these days. Because it's just so much easier to list. Um, five pound there. And again, we should get into the debate of am I lazy or am I a genius for just picking up brand new and sealed stock? Some people would say, oh yeah, it's good. Others would say, you know, some people would say I'm a genius. Some people say I'm just lazy. But uh, yeah, whatever you want to call me, that's fine. Um, five pound. I've seen a very, very similar one of these. I don't know whether it's the exact same one, but it went for twenty seven ninety nine brand new and sealed. So yeah, hopefully I'll be able to get about 25 to 30 quid on that. So, yeah, from 5 quid, pretty happy with that one. And then we got, I saw this and I was like, yeah, my eyes lit up. Because it's Perudo and it's brand new and sealed. Now, a while ago, this used to be worth good money. Uh, if you can get it, not not necessarily used. I think it used to be worth about a tenner used. Maybe a bit more, maybe 12 99 plus post. Um, paid 2 quid for it. But brand new and sealed, it used to be worth really good money. It used to be like 30, 40 quid or something. I swear, at one time. Um, but yeah, 2 quid and I thought, brilliant. Um, and I looked at Amazon, it's worth about 15 quid now. And then on eBay, one's gone for about 17 quid, brand new and sealed. So I'm get, what I'm going to do is probably put that in my lock up, put it away for quarter four, see what the prices are doing at quarter four, because I reckon I could get a bit more than that at quarter four. I reckon this would be 25, 30 quid, um, you know, in the height of sort of Christmas season. And I'm not going to shoot myself in the foot and price it at 15 quid. Um, you know, if I can get almost double that at Christmas just to wait three or four months, then I'd rather do that. So, yeah, two quid there. Potentially, you know, maybe I'll only get 15, 60 quid, 16 quid, but... Potentially, as I say, it could be a bit more than that. So, yeah, that's that one there anyway. So, I was happy to find that because I've not found that in quite a while. Oh, and then that's everything. So, yeah, that was a pretty quick haul. Well, actually, I say quick. It's been nine minutes. How do I rack up the time that quick? I literally just showed six items and it felt like two minutes and suddenly the video's on nine minutes. I don't, how do I even do it? I don't even get how I... I must ramble without realising it. I don't even know. Anyway... 
So I'll leave it there for this one guys, thank you very mu much for joining me today, um, I'll probably do another vlog at some point, I think I might be going to a car boot this weekend, I'm definitely thinking about it anyway, so if I do that I'll do a car boot vlog type thing or a car boot haul or something to do with that and that'll be coming probably after this video or a couple of videos later, um, so yeah anyway I'll leave it there, if you haven't already please do consider subscribing to the channel, if uh, you did like this video then please do whack a like on it and I will see you in the next one. So I will see you very soon guys. I'll give you what I got. The alcohol of that is flowing wild. So grab yourself a can of mine.